Hey what's up YouTube, it's Story of Sam and welcome back to a brand new NBA video today here on the channel and we're going to be talking about the LA Lakers and everything they need to address over the offseason. Of course the Lakers lost in 6 games to the Phoenix Suns but there's definitely a lot of moves they should make to help them compete for a championship once again next season. If you guys are brand new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 3000 subscribers and of course guys make sure to drop a like on today's video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So one of the first things I want to talk about is the Lakers center rotation. The Lakers currently have Marc Gasol, Montrez Harrell, and Andre Drummond. Now the interesting part is all these centers at one time or another during the season played a lot. In the beginning of the season, Marc Gasol was the starter. And then once Anthony Davis got hurt, Montrez Harrell played a lot of minutes. He was one of the Lakers best players when AD got hurt the first time. And then of course in the playoffs, in the late, late regular season games, Andre Drummond was starting and playing a lot of minutes. So all three of these guys had a lot of opportunities to show if they are worth keeping for next season. And Montrose Harrell does have a player option, so I think he will opt out because it was like a 19 million two-year deal. So it's 9.5 million a year. I could definitely see Montrez Harrell signing like a four or five-year deal with like the Charlotte Hornets. So I do not expect Montrez Harrell to be back with the Lakers next season. So I think it's pretty guaranteed that Montrez Harrell is going to leave the Lakers. Now Marcus Gasol, I really like Marcus Gasol. I think it was a great pickup for them when they traded JaVale McGee. I thought he was great pretty much all season. I know he got a lot of flack earlier in the year, but he's a really good passer. He can shoot the ball, a smart defender. He can't really move that well in the pick and roll, but He's still a good, solid center. So I think Marcus Gasol should stay with the Lakers and they should start him at center next year. And then lastly, Andre Drummond. I think Drummond played a lot better than people give him credit for. Just because Andre Drummond, when he makes a mistake, he makes like really obvious mistakes, like missing a wide open dunk, missing a layup. But overall, I think Drummond was pretty solid for the Lakers. But I doubt he's going to resign just because he can get a lot more money on a different team. So out of all those centers, I think Marcus Gasol should be the only one that stays. And the most important thing for the Lakers this offseason to address it's their shooting. They could not shoot the ball at all this season. They were one of the worst three-point shooting teams in the league, one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the league, and that is just simply unacceptable, and it's one of the main reasons why they lost in the first round. In basically every single game of the playoffs, they were shooting horrible percentages from the field, three-point line, and the free throw line, so shooting is definitely their number one priority. I think trying to target a real like shooting big man, that would be the best case scenario. I don't really know who they could get, but literally anyone that can play center alongside Anthony Davis and provide good spacing, that would be crucial for the Lakers next season. Shooting is definitely the most important thing. By far, LeBron James and Anthony Davis need a lot of spacing. They need spacing, so shooting again, that is the number one priority. So I definitely think Contavious Caldwell Pope, of course, he signed the contract last season. He's going to stay. I do think they should re-sign Wesley Matthews. He had a slow start, but he really got going later in the season. So I think they should keep Wesley Matthews. He can shoot pretty well, and he's also a good defensive player. And also for Ben McLemore, I know he's a liability on defense, but the Lakers definitely need Ben McLemore shooting. He was one of the best shooters on the team. I hope they re-sign Ben McLemore. He would be great for their spacing. And again, he's definitely one of the best shooters on the team, along with Contavious Caldwell Pope. The next very important thing besides filling out their center position and getting a lot of shooters is making sure you do not overpay Dennis Schroeder. He wants like a $25 million contract extension. Definitely do not give him that. He is not worth that kind of money. He had some really high highs throughout the season, but also in the playoffs, he did not show up. He was a turnover machine, shooting very, very inefficiently. I think he was like 0 for 8, 0 for 9 one game from the field with zero points. That is just not good enough at all for a starting point guard who wants to get a $25 million a year contract. Definitely not worth it. If the Lakers can sign him for less than $20 million, definitely go for it. But if he wants more than that, and I think he does, literally just let him walk. He's not worth it. And he's not that great of a three-point shooter. So definitely the Lakers should not be afraid of letting Dennis walk. Also for Kyle Kuzma, I think they should explore trading Kyle Kuzma. I don't think he should be automatically traded. If you can get good value for him, definitely trade him. But don't just trade him just because you want to trade him because he played bad in the playoffs. Make sure you're getting good value. But of course, I'm not going to be mad if Kyle Kuzma is not on the Lakers next season. Because again, you can just not count on Kyle Kuzma for anything. He could literally drop zero points in a game, then drop like 30 points in the next game. And then the next game, drop like four points. So again... You can definitely not expect anything from Kuzma, so trading Kuzma could definitely be a good option, but only for the right price. I do think the Lakers should re-sign Alex Caruso. Alex Caruso was one of their best defensive players this season, one of their best hustle players, and of course, the fans love Caruso. You gotta keep him around. 
I really, really hope they can keep him, but I have a feeling he's going to get a lot of money in free agency, and I wouldn't be surprised if Alex Caruso signs with a different team. I think he's one of the most underrated defensive players in the NBA, so in my opinion, they should re-sign Alex Caruso, but that might be a little bit hard to do with his value being so high right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on everything the Lakers need to address during the offseason. Of course, the Lakers had a very disappointing season. Anthony Davis' injury really swung that series, so there is a lot of work to be done this offseason, but I think the Lakers can really make improvements. They just gotta focus on getting a lot more shooting, figuring out their center rotation, and also not overpaying Dennis Schroeder. That is a must. They cannot overpay him. If they pay him like $25 million a year, that's gonna really, really sacrifice their team and how they can build around LeBron James and Anthony Davis. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And of course, guys, make sure to drop a like on today's video. That would be great. And if you guys do want to watch more of my NBA videos, I'm going to leave an end screen right when this video finishes to two of my previous uploads that I think you guys would really, really enjoy. So have a great rest of your day, guys. It's been Story of Sam, and I'm out. Peace.